Hello and welcome to another edition of VA Dad's Previews. We're going to do another supermarket offering that is in Tesco. This came out sometime towards the end of um, September. And as I said, my last load, um, I've kind of held back. Didn't want to flood YouTube with the same old beers, giving you guys the same old thing to look at over and over and over again. Um, so I waited. And I've done all of the Morrison's new release, and I've done all of the Tesco's new release. No, I haven't. Done all of the Sainsbury's new release, except for Brew Dogs. I'm not going to do Brew Dog beers. I am, and I'm going to do this one. This one finishes off what uh, what there is, and this is a Buxton beer, and it's a Buxton collaboration with Brit Hop Brewing uh, Brewing Limited, and this. Is Gil from Mars Session New England IPA coming in at 4.8% ABV? That's not bad. 4.8. Um, canned on the 5th of September 23, best before the 15th of June 24. Kind of smears across the bottom of the can there. I, I like this can label, this can art. It's really good it stands out on the shelf and that is the whole reason why I bought it um, I do like Buxton beers I haven't done a Buxton beer for a very long time which is a shame on me um, but I say this is tipped up in Tesco and I thought I'd give it a go so let's just say it on the side that we need to know about because normally Buxton throws some information on it um, it says Booed with our uh, friends at Brit Hop Brewing Co. Girl from Mars is a session young with IPA dry hopped with Harlequin, an exciting new British hop from the uh, the Charles Farum Farum Hop Development Program. Inspired by Ash's nineteen uh, inspired by Ash's nineties classic, Girl from Mars, this collaboration was created through the love of progressive British hops and the ultra-modern styles they can be applied to and great music in brackets okay let's uh let's pop a top on this see what we've got 4.8 new england session new england ipa don't hold out much hope if i'm being honest i think it's just going to be a poor beer but i don't know i don't know 4.8 on a session new england ipa usually they're thin, usually they're, they're, they're weak in flavour and they're usually they're weak in aroma. Usually. Let me put that there. Let's put that there. In fact, let me just turn that around. There we go. So, be in a glass, what have we got? One, two, two and a half, just over two fingers. Densely compact, white head. Beer itself has got a lovely, lovely, um, hazy, gold straw colour beer. Let's put the torch. See what we can do. That's just not. Do, that's not doing what I want to do. There we go. Let's stick it underneath. Oh no no no! Dear me, what? No. Um. It's hazy gold. It's hazy yellow. Let's get the nose so we can smell. Let's go for it. Yeah, light pineapple. Maybe grapefruit. Tropical. A bit of... A bit of passion fruit. There's something there. Could be passion fruit. It smells okay. It doesn't smell great, but it smells okay. Let's go for the fudging carbonation. Cheers. That's light bodied. And the carbonation is light. It's got a little bit of a fizz to it, but nothing, nothing amazing. There is... For me, a little bit of a creamy feel to it, but we'll 
get into that. Let's go for the big old taste. Cheers, everybody. Got a light pineapple, light grapefruit, light dryness. The dryness lingers for me. Um, it's not great, but it's not. But it's not great. You've got to kind of think about what you're drinking and try and pick up these flavours. Because it's not, it's not bursting with flavours at all. They're there, excuse me, but they're really, they're really light and weak. As supermarket beer goes, it's not great. It really isn't. Buxton can do better than this. Buxton's Phoenix. Buxton's Kingslayer. Buxton's, I am... Um, yeah, Kingslayer for one is superb. It's better than this. Phoenix APA is better than this. It's just not great. There is, the it does have a demon features about it. The more you get into it, the flavors do flavors do start to build, but it's still really light. There's a little bit of a sweetness to it. Um. I don't know. It can look good. It smells okay. It tastes or well, uh, tastes mediocre. <sighs> Would I buy it? Oh, never mind. I'll do that in a minute. I'm disappointed in this. I am disappointed. As I say, there are better books and beers in Tesco on the shelf, sat next to it. For the same price, there or there about the same price. Kingslayer thinks a double IPA, I think that's three fifty, I think three seventy five, something like that. Better than this, Phoenix IPA, better than this. I love to say it. Some of the Brewdog stuff in Tesco, almost famous, better than this. I know it's a sessionable New England IPA, but even so, give us something with a bit of freaking taste to it. I'm going to wrap this review up before I start going on a rant. I don't want to go on a rant tonight. It's not my that's not my thing. So this is Books and Brews of Brit Hop Brewing Co. Girl from Mars Session New England IPA. Do I like it? No. Would I buy it again? No. I recommend to friends? No. I mean, if I was at a barbecue and I took a couple of cans of this and I was just sitting in the garden on a hot summer's day, what I've done, excuse me, I've been up and done in the garden, cutting grass or whatever I've got to do, done some yard work. Um, it's, it's it's a fair slater, but that's about it. It's not one. Yeah, well, yeah, midweek match, midweek sport. I don't know. Um, so, if you've had this beer, let me know what you think. Please put a little comment in the comments box below. I will put a link to the Buxton website in the description box. Um, do that if you've read the, the, the video, do that if you don't, subscribe down there. Again, do I like it? No. What about it again? No. Welcome to friends? No. See you in the next one. Stay less, stay safe. Hello.